the ground. We got lots of free water flowing in the phreatic zone. I'll saturate this water, keep going. It's free of organisms, color, odor, sediment, and its composition. And time is hell a constant. In an unconfined aquifer, we charge them from above. And then meet an aqua fluid from the mountains we love. But this water is important, y'all. It's hella legit. And it's humanity's duty to protect it. Groundwater. What? What? Groundwater. Human processes are undeniably bad when it comes to GE water and all the shit that we add. Pollutants and chemicals and waste galore. There's only 0.62%. We can't afford this no more. See, septic and gas tanks on top of mine waste create clues of contamination that we can't erase. Under normal conditions, GE water flow would dilute it. But our rate of pollution and extraction undo it. And while on the subject, Here's something to consider. If you lessen extraction, it's not like you're a quitter when you pump out all this water and have no means of replacement, and then urbanize with lots of buildings and sidewalks and pavement. The recharge required to replenish the table becomes runoff and turns the situation unstable. This collateral damage is seen in cones of depression. Mama Nature, please forgive us for this awful transgression. We need the ground. We got lots of free water flowing in the phreatic zone. I'll saturate this water, keep going. It's free of organisms, color, odor, sediment, and its composition and temp is hell's a constant. In an unconfined aquifer, recharge comes from above, and then meet an aqua clue from the mountains we love. But this water is important, y'all, it's hella legit, and it's humanity's duty to protect it. In aquifers, the water flows through sediments, and with permeability, there ain't impediments. But as soon as you start with all this bullshit overdrafting, the sediments don't have shit to keep it from compacting. But the more the ground compacts, the more elevation is lost. May not seem like a problem, but at whose cost? Since 1980, Arizona's been pumping for irrigation, and 400 feet have been lost without restoration. We're exhausting our options the more we keep taking. There's just so many people people that we are forsaking 1.5 billion people are being left in the dust and denying them water is simply hella unjust but part of the problem comes from bad distribution there isn't much water where you see destitution why there's a billion in china with untreatable water and much smaller populations where there's so much more to offer Beneath the ground we got lots of free water flowing in the phreatic zone i'll saturate this water keep going it's free of organisms color odor sediment and its composition and time is hell's a constant in an unconfined aquifer recharge them from above and then meet an aqua clue from the mountains we love but this water is important y'all it's hella legit and it's humanity's duty to protect it in an ideal world, we'd stop this nonsense right now. But with seven bill people, it's hard to figure out how. The best we can do is to preserve what's left of it all and take steps to take action, no matter how small. We got these problems abundant and no immediate fix, but we can start paying heed to science and politics. Let your government know the way you think things should be, and in the words of Gandhi, be the change that you want to see.